So, Brad, Eli um, has uh, been dealing with uh, the cold temperatures that we all have yeah. uh, in the past couple of days on this uh, holiday weekend, of course. Uh, he sent us an email. He's asking what should he do to keep his furnace running as efficiently as possible and keep his heating costs down? Is it too late to take uh, attack this at this point? Mm-hmm. Well, no, there's not. I mean, I think that some of the things that he'll want to make sure that he he needs to have a clean filter, um, uh, make sure that those are changed out. That's not going to cost much money. It's relatively easy to do in most systems. Um, the other thing that he can do is, is um, you know, we've talked about the idea of ceiling fans, uh, using the ceiling fans in a clock, in a counterclockwise motion to, to, to move the air, move the heat off the ceiling and back in the house that will help with efficiency you know the other things that you know really it I, i'm not going to say it's too late but you know servicing you know the hvac unit uh, you know a couple times a year uh, mm-hmm. to keep it running at its optimal particularly if it's um if it's a gas unit uh electric units you want to make sure that you know the thermostats are properly set so that the system is not running in auxiliary auxiliary mode oh i'm sorry but That's we see right. in a lot of houses yeah. that the thermostats are 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 wired incorrectly. So it's it that uh, is something that you know they need to have their HVAC guy. Um, take a look at for sure. But that that's going to be you know some easy fixes, some quick fixes that'll save you know quite a bit of money. Uh, the other thing, don't close rooms off. I you know I know a lot of people will shut rooms off, shut um, registers off, supplies off. That from all the HVAC guys I know, they think that's a no no because it it really uh, can play havoc with the thermostat and create even more energy needs than they they actually have. Even though that it's they think that uh, shutting those rooms off should save them money, it typically doesn't, as I understand. And I should point out from experience that if you plan on putting a setback thermostat, that one that you control remote, remotely or um, the newer fashioned thermostats, before you touch them, because you're going to try to do it yourself, right, to save some money, take a picture of the wiring on your phone, how the thermostat wow. is wired once you take the cover off. Right, Chuck? Chuck saying, yeah, that's yep. a smart idea. Because in yep. the event it uh, doesn't work and you need to call in a professional, at least you've got a picture which shows the professional where those actual uh, wires were seated in the original thermostat, which will help them recover the problem if you run into that. 